hey guys welcome back so guys in this video we are going to get started with the new topic that is angular okay so guys we are going to create a CRUD application in angular using a API so that API is built with Laravel application so now guys as simple let's get started with the installation of angular and set up the bootstrap and create all the pages inside the angular okay so first up guys here to install the angular you just need to do the following so before this you need to install one node.js okay so now guys let's just get back to a file explorer where now just open your cmd command prompt okay so i have selected one folder and open that so now guys here i just type cmd on the search so it gives me to the correct path okay so now guys you need to check your node or npm is installed or not so in my system i have already installed the node and npm and now guys we need to check that i have installed the angular or not okay so now to check the angular you just need to add ng space version okay hit enter so here you see i have already installed the angular which is 16 right now okay so now guys let us create the project so as simple let's get back here so here is a basic workflow how we can create the angular project it's just ng new and the project name as simple guys let's get back to the our command prompt and here i just give the command ng space new space the project name so i am going to create a angular hyphen crud so hit enter it will start creating the folder guys so here it is asking would you like to add a angular routing so i tell yes that is why and then which style sheet you prefer i prefer css hit enter so it starts with the installation process and here if you see guys in the background it has created the angular folder already okay so let's wait for the complete installation of this angular okay so guys here you see packages installed successfully and it's giving warning so you can just ignore all these warnings guys and you can continue here it's done so here if you see this fatal unable to detect the email address i have not given so that's why it's showing this kind of error okay but our project is successfully created installed so now guys we can just close this terminal done and then you can go into your angular crud folder and then open this in your editor so i choose with the vs code editor all set and now guys let us run this application okay so just use control tilde symbol to open the terminal let me just zoom it okay and now guys just do ng serve hit enter compiled successfully at the localhost 4200 let's control click on it and we see the output here perfect so we have successfully run the application guys and now let's get back and we will be editing it so as simple let's get back to our editor so first step we are going to src folder inside that app here we have a app.component.html we have all unwanted codes so you can just remove it just go below select and remove everything except the router outlet and now you want to keep this in a open and close div tag inside that we'll keep it in a h1 tag home page okay which means main page now if you save refresh perfect so we have got the output guys and now let's get back and set up the bootstrap so just open new terminal and install the bootstrap so what we can do let's go to getbootstrap.com so getbootstrap.com and copy this command okay so just click on it paste hit enter so it installs the bootstrap so guys bootstrap installation is done 
now we can get back to this served and now guys you can just go to this angular.json to link the bootstrap let's save this and here in the first step you should go on the architect build and inside that build you find the option inside that for option you find the css and the script so here it's already given a default style css file so here it is and now i want to add the bootstrap so to link the bootstrap file you can just find that inside your node modules you just need to search ctrl f search for the bootstrap where you find bootstrap dist css and you get that bootstrap min.css file so where it is here we go okay so let's copy the relative path copied and now you can paste here so same way guys you need to search for the js file also so what we'll do we'll copy the bundle.min.js file so let's copy the relative path and you paste it you need to break it double quotes and paste it done guys so now let's arrange this file and you do not need to include the node modules so just remove that delete it and start giving forward slash instead of backslash all set now we can save it and close this now we can just use a simple button to test that the bootstrap is working or not yeah click me save it and now if we see the output here we see a normal button and if we give a class for this button button hyphen primary save it and then you see the bootstrap okay it has not linked correctly let's save it once again i think we need to reserve that because we are editing the angular.json file right so for that sake we need to reserve just control c and ng serve again done and now if we refresh awesome guys so it's working fine so what whenever we do any changes in this angular.json file you need to reserve the application now let's close it so here if you remove the class you see normal bootstrap if you serve it the bootstrap okay so now guys we have successfully included the bootstrap also and now let's begin with creating the pages so as simple let me delete this folder vs code we do not require so now let's get started with creating the components so you can move on the new bash or a new terminal where we'll create the component using angular commands so ng generate component which is home page so for that i will create inside the pages folder so you should move inside the app inside this app will be creating the pages folder so let's tell pages forward slash and then home page okay let's hit enter perfect let me zoom it guys and now you see inside the app folder we have a home page and inside that home page we find the component okay so what we can do let us open and close div and use a h1 tag and tell home page so same way we are going to create for about and contact us also so let us use the same command ng generate component pages where you will tell about page hit enter and same way for the contact page so let us just create all the components of pages okay contact page so if we go inside the page we find all the three components that is home page about page and contact page as simple let us copy this and now we go to about page and go on the html paste here and mention 
about page and then we go for the contact page go to con contact page dot html let me show you the correct file names so make sure it's dot html guys it's not any other file okay so here we paste contact page save it get back so now guys i want to call the about page contact page and other pages also so for that you just need to add the routing okay let's arrange it let's close every file here done go to src and app inside that app you find the app routing module dot ts file so inside this only we are going to give the routes so inside this array let's hit enter and open and close curly brace where inside this curly brace you tell the path colon you do not give forward slash okay anytime in this application in the beginning so you just need to give null that means it accepts as a home page and on this home path what component you have to give so component colon what is the component so it's my home page that is home component okay so what you can tell let's tell home page component hit enter so it's automatically it's importing the class if it's not importing please import your path and on this page only i want to set the title so for example if you see right now what title here it is it is telling angular crud right so i just want to set the home page so you can add a, a title colon home page so give it in a single quotes let's save and then you can just copy and paste so it goes to the about hyphen us which is about page so it's not imported guys sometime it's import sometime it doesn't so what we'll do we will import by manually so you can just about and change the page done guys so if you see the path is correctly called so if you just control click and it goes to that component right let me close it so same way guys for the contact also let us do that contact us and here you set the title contact and about us contact us and the component also you have to import so contact page component hit just hit tab so it imports automatically now let's save so now guys let me copy this route and get back on the browser so if you paste slash about us you see that about us and if you paste contact hyphen us you get contact us okay so what is this home page you need to remove that from the main file that is your component dot html let's remove it so it works correctly as simple guys now if you give here home page home page perfect and you see the title also it's changing so let me add about hyphen us so you see the title also changes to about us perfect guys so now guys as simple i just want to create one navbar to navigate through the pages so what we'll do we'll just create a simple component in the partial folder so which will be inside this pages so just type ng generate component inside the pages forward slash then partials forward slash the navbar hit enter so you see that partials folder inside that partial you have a navbar component awesome so now as you can go to this navbar dot component dot html file inside that html you have to paste the navbar code so we have already installed the bootstrap now let's go to the docs and just search for navbar navbar hit enter so here we get the navbar code as simple let's copy it and get back now paste so now guys here we do not required few things let's remove those and yep so as simple let me show it correctly here and this is my 
you will tag so you can remove this also and this will be your home page and then about so same way copy and paste for the contact contact us and this will be the about us and now guys how to link the routes so you just need to change this href to router link so add a router link copy this paste here paste here and here remove it and make it to forward slash and here forward slash about hyphen s then forward slash contact s so same way copy this and paste on your navbar done guys let's save it and here you can tell angular crud and now let's import this navbar component inside our main app component so let's go to app component.html file on this we can include it so how to include a component okay inside another component so for that you can just add app hyphen then the navbar that's it now you can close them and it's imported let's save it and now you will be seeing the changes guys awesome so now guys our navbar looks very simple let me just add a few styling inside that we just need to add this simple shadow and let's add this bg white that's it and from margin end auto to margin start auto let's remove this container fluid and make it to container only now if you save and check the output awesome and now let's redirect here home about and contact perfect guys so guys we have successfully learned how to install the angular application and integrate the bootstrap create the pages and set up the navbar to navigate through the pages okay so guys in this video that's it thank you for watching this video guys please subscribe like and share